Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the Missouri Association of College Admission Counseling uh, virtual fair. Um, for today's session, we have uh, six institutions that are here to speak with you. Um, I have a couple of housekeeping notes before we get started. So your camera and your microphone are off for today's session. Uh, you will have the opportunity to ask questions of our panelists using the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen. Um, and they'll be able to chat some responses back to you, but you will not be able to use the chat. Um, you will have the opportunity to sign up for other events taking place today. Um, so once to this, this session has wrapped up, I encourage you to visit the StriveScan website and sign up for additional sessions this evening. And this session will be recorded, so you will have the opportunity to uh, visit the website at a later time and view any sessions on demand that you're interested in. My name is Daisha, and I will be your facilitator this evening. Before um, we jump in, I'd like to introduce our first institution, and that will be Maryville University. Hello, am I good to share my screen now? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right, here we go. So my name is actually Jordan King. I didn't have time to switch my name here on one second. All right, there we go. We should be good. So Maryville um, is located in St. Louis. We're really excited to be a part of this fair um, virtually. Um, and be able to present to as many people as possible virtually. Um, so this next slide here is just a little bit about our school. So I always tell students, if you Google us, we are at that 11,000 enrollment. Um, traditionally, we just have about 3,000 students that come to campus daily. Um, so we do have that um, mid-sized institution enrollment, but truly that traditional educational feel um, on campus. So we do have 50 states represented on campus, really proud of that, and 58 countries represented as well, um, with over 90 plus academic degree programs. Um, definitely a great opportunity to be able to find um, anything and everything that um, is interest to you. And we actually do provide live coaches to all of our incoming freshmen to be able to um, give you an opportunity to go through some assessments and figure out really which degree program is the best fit for you. We find that a lot of students come on campus, they feel like they know exactly what they want um, to do. And in that way, they are able to kind of solidify their route or completely change their mind like I did. We also do have 22 different sports on campus. We are NCAA Division II. Um, so that offers students a wide variety of sports to choose from. Um, but we also do have different club and intramural sports on campus. Um, and our average class size is about 25. So students are still going to get that personalized educational feel for them um, without you know, um, maximizing class sizes and still being able to network with your students and professors. Um, and then we also have over 150 student, student organizations on campus. Um, so students are able to participate in a wide variety of different clubs and organizations, whether that be from sports to religious to crafting and knitting. Um, there's something for everyone. I always tell my prospective students like you have to try really hard to be bored on campus. Uh, we do actually host over 3000 events annually for all of our students. So it's definitely a fun environment to be a part of. And down at the bottom, you can see the arch. So we are located in St. Louis, like I said earlier, um, and that's just a beautiful view of our city. So these are some of our top programs on campus. Um, so nursing, we are most known for our nursing program, um, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech language therapy or speech language pathology. 
Um, those top four programs do provide students a freshman direct entry, specifically meaning um, if you're going into that nursing degree program, you do not have to reapply for that. You were in it as a freshman all the way through senior year, um, and you're with a specialized cohort for that degree. Um, the next three, so all of our therapies, physical, occupational, and speech language therapy, um, those are freshman direct entry or early admit into our master's program. So freshmen are um, directly admitted based off of specific GPA requirements into those programs and do not have to reapply for graduate schools. In many of the cases for those three programs, they do shorten their length of time um, for education. So lots of our students do apply to those top four degrees and um, do love to shave off time um, for that education. Um, we also offer cybersecurity, um, which is one of our great programs here on campus, and they have their own wing of the business sector on campus. And then my favorite program to talk about is our Rawlings Sports Business Management Program. So just like in the name, we're sponsored um, by Rawlings for that program, and they have a lot of um, professors that are from Rawlings that teach classes there. They employ a lot of our um, interns um, through Rawlings and hire a full-time after graduation. So if you have students that are interested in sports, but also interested in business, that's a, a great cross-section between those two. And they have a lot of fun with our Cardinals and Blues. Um, and so some of those students actually do graduate and end up working um, for the Kansas City Royals as well. So lots of fun with that program. Um, most recently, we added computer science and you'll see those different tracks there for computer science. I'm very excited to start um, bringing in some of those emerging technologies into um, Maryville space. I think they've always been here, but definitely more of a focus as our world is shifting to more technology like we're using today. Um, we'll see a lot more computer science students come on campus. Um, and that just goes hand in hand with that cybersecurity degree as well. So those are some of our top degree programs. Like I said, we have over 90 to choose from. So definitely some options there um, for students. So going towards this slide. So um, one of our, I call quote unquote buzzwords on campus is that active learning we call ecosystem. So talking about how can we blend technology into our classrooms, blend technology into your learning, as well as blend technology into this space. So all of our students do get an iPad um, when they come on campus, as well as an Apple Pencil to be able to um, come on campus and have an equal playing field in terms of technology. So that is there for those students to use and it's them there to keep after graduation for sure. So that's something that we like to talk about. We're one of 32 other higher learning institutions in the country um, to be an Apple Distinguished School. So very, very cool. Um, as I talked about earlier, so we do have our life coaches um, on campus. Again, they're there to assist our freshmen throughout their first year. Um, and um, they do go through assessments, like I said. They also um, talk through time management, um, personal and professional development. So they do a lot of um, resume writing, um, what it means to like have that first interview and do some mock interviews with them. Um, you'll see down there, uh, career fair and interview prep. So this is uh, starting our freshmen from the ground floor and that foundation of what it really means to be a professional and taking them um, from freshman to senior year with those skills is just something that we're super proud of. And um, I think everyone can use a life coach. So I would love one as well. So this is just a little bit more about um, our career success. So just like I just chatted about with our life coaches. So we are preparing our students from freshman year um, throughout their tenure here with us to get to this career success rate. So about 98% of our students um, that graduate within six months of that graduation date do um, get a full-time job offer, go straight into the military or um, get into their graduate school of choice. So very proud of this number right here. And I think that's just a testament to the work that we're doing um, from freshman year. So just telling 
um, our freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors, just the power of networking, the power of their potential of making sure like their resume is solid, that they have um, great communication skills, that they are um, learning how to interview and just some of the importance um, with that. So some of those breakdowns are listed there by school. So our College of Arts and Sciences, College of Business, Education, and Health Professions. And then they all have their various um, degrees of exams that it takes you know, to get those um, full-time um, degrees. But that is kind of the breakdown by college and clearly all over 96%. So super proud of that. Um, so this is just a little bit about um, basically the journey to becoming a saint. So we'll chat about um, applying and things like that. So on the screen, it is totally free to apply. I say it's the easiest just to apply through our website. So it takes about five minutes, five to 10 minutes to apply on our website. It's totally free, no essay required. Um, just go through that. And then we do also take the Common App and Coalition app as well. Um, so once we have an application, um, some of our degree programs do actually require certain letters of recommendations um, and a transcript. So once we have all of the required documentation and an application, um, we can do a holistic review of your application. And then we are test optional. So um, it's totally optional to you um, to um, add your ACT or SAT score if it helps you. If it doesn't help you, you don't need to add it, but that's totally up to you. And did you want to jump in? Oh, yes. Uh, I was just going to jump in because uh, we need to move on to our next institution. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Maryville University. Uh, the next institution we'll have speaking with you today is Westminster College. Hi everyone, my name is Allie Jeffers and I am an admission counselor with Westminster College. I'm gonna get my presentation pulled up here for you all. Perfect. So like I said, I'm from Westminster College. We are located in Fulton, Missouri. That's about an hour and a half away from the downtown St. Louis area. Um, this is a picture of on campus, our columns. We um, have a very like sacrificial ceremonial um, uh, every year at the beginning of the year and at um, graduation where our students walk through the columns as they're entering Westminster and then exit the columns as they graduate. Um, so just a few fast facts here. Some of these I've already mentioned. Um, we're a small private school in Fulton, Missouri. Um, we have about 800 to 900 undergraduate students. So we are very small. You're going to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. Average class size is going to be about 25 students to one teacher. Um, the student teacher ratio for every one student on campus, we have 11, um, for every 11 students on campus, we have one faculty member. Um, the town of Fulton, I like to call is kind of a medium mid-range uh, town. And we were recently in the Smithsonian top 15 small towns to visit. Um, it's a town of about 15,000 people. Um, so still small, comfortable, but we're right in between Columbia and Jeff City. And there's very much a collegiate feel um, when you visit uh, Westminster, because we are also um, in town with another institution. So lots of college students throughout the town of Fulton. Some of our programs, kind of our top majors and minors, anything um, pre-med or anything in our sciences in general, if you're wanting to go general medical school, dentistry, um, OT, PT, all of those advanced degrees, very popular for us. Reason that sciences are so popular for us is because within our science building, we have a cadaver lab. And if you're a science person, you probably know what that is. If you're not a science person, um, what that is, is if someone passes away, they donate their body to science, and that is a cadaver lab. So a huge, um, unique opportunity for our students at the undergraduate level 
um, that they, you know, get to experience that as soon as their sophomore year, if they're wanting to go on and get those advanced degrees. Um, also very popular for us, anything political science, and we have a pre-law minor. The pre-law minor is um, specifically focused on helping you achieve your highest score on that LSAT exam so you can really land in the law school of your first choice. Um, with our political science, we have had a lot of political leaders on campus, and that is just kind of continued to be very popular for us. Along with that, psychology, business, education, I think those kind of across the nation are very popular and certainly at Westminster as well. Um, something very unique that we have is a self-designed major. So this is for the student that might know, I know the exact career position that I want, but I don't know how to get there. Um, so some examples of that we've had in the past are like forensic pathology. So a student might come and say, Allie, I know I want to do this, but I can't find it anywhere. I definitely can't find it at a small private institution. So we have what's called a self-designed major and you work with your faculty advisor to kind of piece those puzzles together to get you to that exact career path. Um, we have a very strong honors program and something else unique that we offer is our learning difference program. Learning difference program is for any student that may have a diagnosed learning difference, things like dyslexia, autism, um, several other things that our students have come in with a diagnosis of, and they work um, in addition to their regular academic advisor, they have another advisor specific in the learning difference program. Student life. So this is the fun stuff, like where are you gonna live on campus? How is the food, all of that. So all of our freshmen live in what's called our freshman quad. It's essentially like six different buildings in a U shape on campus. All of the freshmen are in there. It is suite style living. So it is six people essentially to one suite, um, to one bathroom facility, and you're all kind of in that same suite. As you become an upperclassman, you can live in um, our townhomes or apartments, which truly give you that full off-campus living experience while you're still on campus. Majority of our students do live on campus all four years. We have several study abroad opportunities lots of different clubs and organizations. Um, one of our most unique organizations is our Blue Blazers. Generally, students that are interested in any business-related major are a part of our Blue Blazers, but you do not have to be a business major to be a part of this. This is essentially an organization that uh, manages their own portfolio of stocks and bonds. And pre-COVID, they used to travel to New York City and do kind of a behind the scenes tour of the New York Stock Exchange. Not sure when that's going to pick back up again, but I'm sure that is on their radar. Uh, Greek life is very um, prevalent on our campus and also very popular. A lot of our students are involved in Greek life. We have three different sororities and six different fraternities on our campus. A unique thing about our Greek life culture is that, um, you know, everyone is kind of runs with everyone essentially. So at a very large school, if you are in a fraternity or sorority, you may get pretty siloed um, within that organization. At Westminster, it is not that way. Um, fraternity A still, you know, works and collaborates with fraternity B and vice versa with our sororities. So, um, and same thing if you don't want to be in a Greek organization, just because you're not involved in Greek, doesn't mean that you won't have friends in the Greek system. Athletics. So we are NCAA Division Three for all of our athletics. You can read kind of all of our offerings there. And I'm quickly going to go through a couple other things because I'm wrapping up. Application completely free, also test optional. Um, and then scholarships, we'll kind of skip through that. Um, FAFSA is opening up this Friday for everybody. So do your FAFSA. And if you have any questions at all, check us out on our website. And here's just some. Um, general information and contacts for you. Thank you. Thank you, Westminster College. Our next institution will be Full Sail University. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. All right. So if you have never heard of us before, uh, we are Full Sail University. My name's Emily. I've been with the school for about five years now, and I'm super excited to be here tonight telling you about who we are and what we do. 
So first things first, Full Sail is a school that's all about creativity, all about entertainment. Um, I do wanna start off with a quick video just to give you a little insight into who we are. So we'll start with that and then I'll go into some more details. So in that quick video, you saw a little bit of information. You could see a bit of our campus down in Orlando, Florida, um, and saw a little bit about our degree programs. But to tell you a little bit more about what we offer at Full Sail, um, we have over 50 bachelor's degrees program, bachelor degrees programs right now uh, that fall into one of these eight areas. So a couple of music programs, media technology, it all has something to do with entertainment in some way. So if you see one of these areas and you think like, oh, I'm very interested in gaming or I'd love to go into sports, just send a question in the Q&A and uh, just let me know and I can provide more information. Uh, but all of our programs are listed on our website. You can read more and you can actually see each course that you would take as a student. All of our programs are a little different though than you may be used to. Um, we have a different approach than tr traditional universities. So the first thing that's different and the biggest difference is that our programs are accelerated. So instead of taking four years to complete a full bachelor's degree, it only takes about two. So for an on-campus student, you can expect to finish your degree in about 20 months, start to finish. Um, and for an online student, it would be right around 29 months. Either way, you're sitting right at that two year mark. Uh, we do that through a lot of ways. We cut down on our gen eds, we really focus on the classes that are very relevant to your future career. And we also go all through the year. Uh, this is important. We get to graduate our student two years sooner than their competition, and they can start working their way up in their field. The next thing is that we have a rolling admissions. So we accept applications all throughout the year. We don't really have application deadlines. Um, but what's different with this is that we actually start a new class of students every month as well. So instead of having to wait for August to start, or maybe December, you can start in February if you're ready. As long as you've graduated high school, um, you can start in November, October, whenever. We always start a new class of students. And then we do have an initiative for our graduates. After they leave Full Sail, we invite them to come back and retake courses in their field. This is free for them for the rest of their lives. And the reason we offer this is because in any of these industries in the entertainment realm, technology changes super fast all the time. Uh, we wanna make sure that our graduates stay relevant so they can stay employed, so they can come back and retake these courses for free. And then last thing, we do have a big, or a big focus on career development. So we want students to know how to do their future job well, but we also want to prepare them to get a job. So um, each student completes seven portfolio projects. That way they can have just projects, things to show off, show off their skills to employers. And then we also have them take seven career modules. These are short courses in things like resume writing, networking, um, just things like that. That way, whenever they are about to graduate, they feel more comfortable with the job application process. And our graduates have gone on to do some really cool things through the years. Um, just this past summer, we had several graduates work on some big blockbuster movies, including the new Suicide Squad movie, Jungle Cruise, the new Space Jam, and Cruella lots of remakes this summer. Um, but in the past few years, they have won some big awards. We've had graduates that have won Academy Awards, Grammy Awards, and also Game Awards in the past few years. Um, this past December, we had several graduates that were credited on The Last of Us 2, which was Game of the Year for 2020. Um, but if you're not into awards, not everybody is. Um, these are a few examples of companies that our graduates have gone on to work for. And some students really want to work for a big company like Blizzard or HBO. Um, some want to work for a smaller company. Some students want to start their own company. 
our graduates have gone in every direction that you could possibly imagine uh, as far as their next steps. So on our campus, we have a lot of clubs and organizations. You can check these out on our website. I do want to quickly highlight our Full Sail Armada team. This is our competitive esports league. We currently compete in about 10 games, including Smash Brothers, Rainbow Six Siege, and Smite. Um, we compete on our campus in the Full Sail Orlando Health Fortress. So if you're a gamer, drop something in the Q&A and I can send you some more information. Um, but if Full Sail sounds like it could be a good fit for you, you're interested in going out of state and pursuing an entertainment degree, the first steps that you would take would be to get in touch with our admissions department. Um, the very first step in that is to set up an interview and this will help you figure out if you are a good fit for Full Sail. And also it'll help us figure out if you're a good fit for Full Sail. Uh, we wanna make sure that we can help you get to where you want to go in your career. Next, I would check out our scholarship guide. We have scholarships that change every semester, some academic, some merit-based, some program specific. So definitely check that out. Our scholarship guide is on our website. And with any other questions, I'm going to drop this link and then also my email in the chat so you can reach out if there's anything that you'd like to know. Um, so my email is right there. Again, I'll put that in the chat and feel free at any time to reach out. So thank you so much for being here tonight and I hope everyone has a great evening. Thank you, Full Sail University. A quick reminder to our attendees, you can ask any questions you'd like of our panelists by uh, clicking on the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen, and that will send the questions to our team here. Our next institution is Columbia College Chicago. Awesome. Thanks so much. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Stephen Barnes, and I am the admission counselor here at Columbia College Chicago for students applying from Missouri, and so I'm very excited to be here to chat with you today. Um, Columbia College Chicago is a mid-sized liberal arts school with a focus on the creative industries based right in the heart of downtown Chicago, and so we're going to kick it off with a little bit of Columbia by the numbers. Um, as I mentioned, we're a mid-sized school. We've got about 6,800 total students. Um, the vast majority of which are undergrads. So we, we've got about 200, maybe 250 graduate students, but we really are focused on the undergraduate student experience. Um, between all of our majors, minors, and graduate programs, we've got over 100 uh, options to, to pick from, um, and I'll highlight some of those here shortly. Um, we are a largely residential experience, especially for our first year students. So about 71% of our freshmen do live on campus in one of our residence centers uh, right here in downtown Chicago. Um, but then students do have the choice of living off campus as well if they wanna kind of have that city living experience in their own apartment with friends and, and that sort of thing. We are really proud to say that the diversity on campus represents the diversity of the city of Chicago. Uh, as you can see here, 57% of our incoming class last year identified as students of color over the entire student population. That's about uh, half of our student body. But then also a third of our students identify with the LGBTQIA plus community. One third, or uh, I'm sorry, about 16% of our students are the first in their family to go to college. And we've got students from all 50 states and about 60 different countries. So uh, we are just really proud of the global community that is represented uh, all walks of life here on our campus. And we're hoping that you are interested in being part of that diverse community of storytellers. Um, you also see this average uh, high school GPA. So for students coming in from high school, the average is about a 3.34. I like to share that just to show that you really are gonna be surrounded by students who are motivated, um, who are academically oriented and really passionate about the things, uh, the creative pursuits that they're interested in. But also I wanna make it clear that that's not a minimum criteria. We are a holistic review process and we will consider all factors when reviewing you for admission. Um, so do not feel like that academic piece is the only thing that we're gonna be looking at. What you can expect at Columbia is a creative learning environment. So we are here to uh, mold the minds of creative students who are going to be the authors of the culture of their time. And so what that means is first, you're gonna be hands-on immersed in your particular field of study right away from your first semester. Yes, you are gonna have some gen eds that you'll be completing as part of our liberal arts core, because we believe that those are really important to giving you a broad-based understanding, critical thinking skills, communication skills that'll be helpful to prepare you for your industry, um, but uh, you're still going to be immersed in that chosen major from the first year. We do have an average small or aver a small average class size of about 18 students per class. You might have a couple classes that are a little bit larger, maybe in your first year, but in general, you can expect classes of about 10 to 15 students, especially in your upper levels. Most important is that our faculty live what they teach. Our faculty 
faculty are not only professors, they are also actively engaged in their particular uh, you know, industry or field, and they are bringing that expertise into the classroom. They are bringing those connections into the classroom. They're bringing in special speakers, internship opportunities, uh, uh, and current industry knowledge. So we're really, really proud of our incredible faculty. And finally, our creative facilities are your classrooms. You saw some flashing on the screen. You're gonna be learning not only in standard classrooms, but also on stage and in editing booths and in post-production facilities and on a stage set or a um, soundstage rather for our film and television students. So that's uh, what you can expect here on campus. As I mentioned, we've got over hundred majors and programs to offer. This is not the full list. You can go to column.edu slash majors for more, but generally speaking, they fall in the areas of audio communication and writing, media arts, performing arts, and visual arts and business. We do offer Bachelor of Arts programs and Bachelor of Science programs, as well as Bachelor of Fine Arts programs and Bachelor of Music programs. Um, in addition to that, your background, or I'm sorry, your backyard, your home ground is going to be the city of Chicago, the third largest city in the country, a vibrant city with uh, an incredible cultural scene. You're going to be living right down the street from the Art Institute of Chicago, from the downtown loop, which is uh, where our major theater district is, uh, just steps away from the, uh, Lake Michigan. Our front yard of campus is Grant Park, where Lollapalooza happens every year. So there are just incredible opportunities in the city. But then we still offer the traditional things that you would expect on a college campus. We've got more than 60 clubs and organizations, hundreds of campus events every year, most of which are student uh, produced and student run. So your students are going to be, or your friends are going to be coming from all different disciplines, which means you're going to always have a gallery opening or a film to see or a production to go watch. Um, and then of course, our residence centers are definitely designed with the creative students in mind. Um, in terms of our application process, it can vary a little bit depending on what program you're applying for, and I'm happy to answer those questions directly, but the thing I really want to highlight is that we have a strong commitment to financial aid. If you apply to the school, submit a FAFSA, and submit portfolio materials to be considered for a talent-based scholarship, that will get you considered for all types of scholarship at Columbia. We are a test-free school, which means you do not need to submit an SAT or ACT. In fact, we won't even look at it uh, to be considered for either admission or scholarship. And the vast majority of our freshmen, 99%, are coming in with some form of financial aid. Finally here, here's my information. Again, Stephen Barnes, my email and phone number, as well as some key websites. Uh, we are doing on-campus visits, so you can check us out at column.edu slash visit. Or if you want to do a virtual visit opportunity, you can go to column.edu slash virtual. Check us out on the various uh, social media handles, and I would love for you to go ahead and screenshot this page so that uh, we can be in touch, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks so much, and have a good evening. All right, thank you, Columbia College Chicago. Our next institution presenting is going to be Augustana College. Okay, uh, thank you guys very much for allowing me to speak to you today, and thank you for joining um, uh, this session here. So yes, uh, my name is Eric Rao. I am an admissions counselor here at Augustana College, and uh, we are located in what's called the Quad Cities. Uh, we are right along the Mississippi River, uh, about three hours west of Chicago and about four hours um, north of St. Louis. Um, it is called the Quad Cities because there are four uh, small cities in the area, who roughly make up about 400,000 people. Um, it is a wonderful area to be in with a lot of excitement uh, around us. Um, we are 2,500 students here at Augustana, so we are a small school. Uh, we have an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio. You will get an awful lot of attention from our faculty here at Augustana. Um, our faculty also um, are pretty much 95% of them have achieved their PhD, so it will be faculty all the time, no grad assistants teaching courses. Uh, the average class size is about 18 students. We have over 90 majors and areas of study here at Augustana College. And many of our students are also double majors. I've seen triple majors here at Augustana. Um, and we have over 150 uh, clubs and activities for you to join in uh, that include uh, Greek life. We have a Quidditch team if you're a Harry Potter fan. Uh, there's so many different things to do. Uh, this uh, image here of the uh, young lady with the dog, we have a program called Viking Pups where we actually train service dogs here at Augustana. So if you are uh, an animal lover, maybe that's something you might wanna get involved with as well. Um, here at Augustana, we've been very innovative in, uh, in most recent years. We've added a lot of new programs here, um, new majors, including uh, kinesiology, data analytics, 
Um, we've also re, um, sort of revamped our engineering program here at Augustana. Um, our speech path program is fantastic where we have a graduate program uh, here at Augustana. Uh, students are very engaged and involved uh, here at Augustana. So about a third of our students are varsity athletes. We have 28 teams here. We just added water polo and esports. So if you can play a mean game of Madden, you might be able to compete uh, nationally here. Um, actually, a quarter of our students are also um, involved in the arts, so music, art, theater, dance. So if you have a lot of talent uh, and passion, maybe Augustana would be a good fit for you uh, as well. Um, diversity is extremely important to us here at Augustana. We believe that the best classroom is a diverse classroom where not only you learn the subject matter, but you learn from one another. Um, in the last 15 years or so, we've gone, gone from a diversity rate uh, ethnically at about 10% to about 37%. Um, so we're quite proud of being able to provide that environment for you here at Augustana. Uh, we've also been innovative because we've built and created uh, new facilities here on our campus. Um, recently, we have built a new pool slash kinesiology department. We are rehabbing our music building right now as well. So a lot of wonderful things are happening here um, at Augustana College. Um, one of the great things that you can be involved with here if you were to choose Augustana is a program called Augie Choice. There is a $2,000 stipend that is given to all students here at Augustana and you use that money for uh, study abroad or, or an international experience um, for internships and for research. So imagine having all three of those things on your resume when you're applying for graduate school um, or for a career. Uh, it'll make you outshine the rest out there. So we want you to have these grand experiences here at Augustana. We've had students travel all over the world, uh, Europe, South America, Asia, Africa, Australia. So if there's places you wanna go, you will have financial support in order to do so uh, here at Augustana. Um, wanna talk to you about the application process. As you can see here, there's three sort of types of applications through Augustana. And I believe most colleges have this, um, early decision, early action, and then regular decision. Uh, early decision is a binding contract between you and uh, the college of your choice. So assuming that you get uh, admitted to Augustana, um, then you would be choosing us. So that is an agreement that we would have um, your application will be read first. Um, then there's early action, which means that uh, it's not binding, but maybe we're in the top two or three of your classes, or I'm sorry, of your schools. So then you would be able to um, you know, get your application read next. Um, and then there's a regular decision uh, for those who are still uh, really exploring what their options might be. And as you can see here, these are the dates that we have available to have things turned in, and then we will be responding to you appropriately. Um, we have merit-based scholarships here at Augustana primarily which means you earn them, you do not apply for merit-based scholarships. So our top scholarships range uh, or get up to about $28,000 per year. Um, there are some specialty awards. We have a micro scholarship for, um, for diversity. Um, there are opportunities to um, compete for scholarships um, or audition through the arts um, with music, art, or theater. Uh, and then there's need-based scholarships here at Augustana College as well, as we can be very competitive um, with the other schools that you may be interested in. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to put my uh, information inside the chat window as well. So if you'd like to learn more about Augustana College, um, I would love to be able to speak with you. And um, please have a wonderful day. Thank you, Augustana College. And our final institution presenting tonight will be Webster University. Awesome. Hello, everyone. My name is Morella, and I'm an admissions representative at Webster University. My presentation is actually a live web page. I'm actually going to share the link with you so you can refer back to this presentation as many times as you need. There's some clickable links in here that I'd really like you guys to be able to explore. I won't have time to do that today. So if you can just bookmark that link when I share it later, you'll be able to come back to this. Fun fact about me is that I'm actually a graduate of Webster University. I'm in grad school at Webster now. I work at Webster. I'm basically a walking Webster billboard. I think I'm the perfect person to tell you a little bit about this university and why I love it so much as well. So for those of you who don't know, Webster is located in Webster Groves, Missouri. That's about 20 minutes away from uh, downtown St. Louis. It's a part of St. Louis, but it's this hidden little gem. It's a nice, small, tight-knit community feel. Um, we, we love our campus. There's a lot of walkable mom and pop shops and restaurants um, and cafes, and you can actually walk from one end of our campus to the other in about 10 minutes, so a very small campus. With that comes very small classroom sizes. We have about 2,500 undergraduate students typically 
So we cap classes at 25 students, but you usually have about 15 students in class with you, and we have a nine to one student to teacher ratio. So you're definitely going to get that one on one attention. You're definitely going to have those small classrooms with that intimate feel, and you're really going to get to know your professors and your classmates as well. These are actually some photos from our classroom, so you can really see um, what a tight knit community we do have. At Webster, we offer over 120 different majors. Those are spread out across our five different schools and colleges. I know that can sound confusing, but it really just means our five different departments. Again, I won't have time to click into each of these, but when you copy this link, you'll be able to click into it and see the different majors that we have. We're very diverse in the majors that we offer. If you look at alphabetically, our first two majors are accounting and then acting right after that. We've got things like cybersecurity and um, computer science science, public relations, journalism. Um, we're one of the rare universities that has wig, makeup, and costume design, musical theater, tons of different things. I like to say it's a little bit of something for everyone to choose from. On campus, we have tons of activities and clubs and organizations for our students to choose from. They're all student based, all student run. There's over 70 different clubs and organizations. When you click on that link, you can check them out. If there's nothing in particular that you're interested in, it's really easy to make your own club at Webster. That's how we ended up with over 70 organizations in the first place. On campus, there are tons of events. Uh, we have great lectures. We've had people like Laverne Cox and um, Terry Cruz come to campus and Jamila Village um, There, We have a great repertory theater, so we have productions that our students get discounted tickets to. We do a lot of fun stuff on campus. Uh, welcome weekend, we always have a petting zoo come in, so we'll have llamas and alpacas and goats and baby ducks and chickens come in and we get to pet those. I spent hours on the quad this year doing that, so tons of fun on campus as well. And when I say we have something for everyone, I truly mean it. On top of everything I've already said, we're also an NCAA Division III athletic school. So if you play sports in high school and you'd like to continue pursuing that in college, we definitely have those opportunities for you. We're a member of the St. Louis Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, so we compete and our teams do really, really well. We're very proud of that as well. And this little cutie right here is our mascot. He's the Gorlock. He is a mythical made up creature. Um, he has the horns of a buffalo, the paws of a cheetah and the face of a St. Bernard. We were on a Buzzfeed article about the weirdest college campus mascots and we didn't make it on there. Campus housing, if you live over 35 miles away from Webster, you are required to live on campus for the first two years. Under 35 miles, you can choose to live on campus or, or live at home and commute. Um, and campus housing for us, our standard is very modern and comfortable. It's two to a room and four to a bathroom suite style. So you and a roommate and then you share your bathroom with the suite mates next door. So none of that like 20 people sharing one bathroom. We don't do that at Webster. We also offer free laundry for students. Um, so we give you that you don't have to lug around quarters or anything like that. We give you that already very comfortable. There's a 360 uh, housing tour linked in this presentation as well. So you can take a look at that. One of our hallmarks is the fact that we're a global university. So I know other schools have study abroad. I can confidently say that Webster has one of the best, and that's because we're actually a global institution. So if you go to Athens, Greece, or Leiden, Netherlands, or Vienna, Austria, and you study abroad there, you're actually going to a Webster University. So nothing changes for you. Your tuition, your financial aid, uh, scholarships, they all travel with you because it's still a Webster University. No need to learn a second language. Classes are in English. We want you to go so bad, we'll actually pay for your first round trip ticket. So there's really no reason not to take us up on this opportunity and spend a semester or a year abroad. Next steps for you, our application is free, it's online. There's three ways to apply, either go to our website, there's never any fee for that. We take Common App and College Coalition App. We're test optional, so if you haven't taken an ACT or if you took it and you just weren't happy with your grades, um, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and we'll take your transcript. We don't require any essays, we don't require any recommendation letters. It's very easy to apply to Webster. We are great about taking transfer credit as well. So if you're taking any dual credits or any AP courses, we'll make sure that those transfer over for you as well. And it's rolling admission, so we never have any deadlines for you. One thing that Webster does a great job at is offering merit-based scholarships. They range from $13,000 to $19,000 per year, and that's renewable for all four years that you're at Webster. Um, and you don't have to apply for that. We automatically consider you for those scholarships. In addition to that, we do have a 
competitive scholarships, uh, two of which are full tuition scholarships, and we give away a number of those each year. So I highly encourage you to apply for those as well. And the most important part here is that Webster University is open for visits. We would love to have you on campus. If you go to webster.edu slash visit, um, you can schedule that. You'll come in person. You'll get to sit down with either myself or one of the other reps. I promise not to talk as fast when you do visit us in person, but we'd love to have you on campus. Again, I will share this um, link to this presentation and my contact information in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Webster University. And that is our time for this evening, everyone. I want to share my screen with you for just a moment. So uh, we want to thank you all for attending this uh, presentation tonight. Um, when you close this window, there will be a quick five question survey that we'd like you to fill out. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide on tonight's session. We encourage you to check back on the schedule and sign up for any additional sessions that you're interested in. Um, again, those recordings are also going to be available at strivescan.com slash, uh, slash Missouri. Um, so if, thank you all for joining us this evening and we hope you have a wonderful night.